is going on, everyone? We are back with another potential test on MLB 16, the show. As always, remember, this series is for you, the viewers, so if you want to see someone in a future potential test, leave a comment down below, and I will use them in a future episode. But today, we are testing another prospect, and it's going to be none other than Cincinnati Reds left fielder Jesse Winker. He has a secondary position of right field, who's a corner outfielder, 6'3", 210 pounds, a potential is only a 61, but we're going to take a look at that in a second. He's a left-handed hitter and thrower. This guy looks to be a very good prospect, and he is going to be angry, and he's super angry. He's getting minus 5 in his overall, so he is a true 66, so should be, I think, some pretty good growth here after season number 1. Let's see, where is he going to go to? 61, 66. He's back to a 66, so plus 3 to contact versus righties, minus 1 to lefties, plus 3 to power versus righties, plus 10 to power versus lefties, plus 3 to vision, 4 to discipline, four to clutch, three to his bunt, two to drag bunt, three to durability, and three to all of his fielding stats. So uh, some good growth here. Interesting is only a 66 overall, so we're going to take a look at his morale in a second, but first the numbers. He played 130 games, 49 runs, 110 hits, 12 home runs, 48 RBIs, 10 stolen bases, and a 2.46 average. Not a horrible season for a first-year guy, especially a guy that's only 22 years old, but looking at the, he's still angry. So he actually went up four in his base overall, so a very, very good season for him. This will fix itself. He, I don't know what this is, that after the first season, guys expect themselves to be stars, but it's going to correct itself after this next season, so we'll deal with that as we see. Season number two, what's he going to grow to? Up to a 73, very nice, so he's up another three. Plus three to contact versus righties, minus one to lefties, minus one to power versus righties, minus five to lefties, who loses almost all of that growth from last year. Plus three to vision, three to discipline, three to clutch, two to bunt, two to durability, three to his fielding, two to arm, and reaction. So... Seeing some more minuses than we maybe want to after the second season, but let's take a look at the numbers here. He plays 131 games, 42 runs, 96 hits, 7 home runs, 31 RBIs, 5 stolen bases, 220 average. Ouch. That is a much worse season than last year, so that's maybe understandable why the changes we see. And he is going to be happy, so he actually only went up one overall. He's getting plus two because of his morale, so that's not the greatest increase. So on to season number three. Let's see if things improve here as he's going to go up to a 70. He's down, so minus three to contact versus righties, plus three for lefties. Plus two to power versus righties, plus three for lefties, plus two to vision, three to discipline, three to clutch, two to bunt, two to durability, two to fielding, and two arm strength, three to accuracy, and three to reaction. So, interesting here. Let's take a look at the numbers first and see how we did. 147 games, 52 runs, 121 hits, 17 runs, 62 RBIs, five stolen bases, and only hits 239. So, a much better season in terms of power, RBIs, hits, especially the average still down pretty far, but interesting, he's only going to grow. So let's take a look at the morale here, and he is unhappy again. So still, though, 72 means he only went up one again to his base overall. So this is not good from Winker here as he's growing uh, very minimally. So season number four, two seasons to go, he's up to a 74 this time. So plus four to contact versus righties, plus one to lefties, minus two for power versus righties, one to, plus one to lefties, plus two to vision, plus three to discipline, plus three to clutch, two to his bunt, three to drag bunt, two to durability, and then two to his fielding and arm, and three to reaction. So these are some better improvements, but still it looks like minimal growth here. Let's take a look at the numbers first and see how we did this season. He's going to play in 151 games, 55 runs, 121 hits, 12 home runs, 55 RBIs, 15 sold bases, and again, only hits 227. The power numbers are still pretty much there. The hits were exactly the same. Much more steals this season, but the average struggling, and he is going to be just satisfied. So that means he went up three points. And actually, look at this. He's a star on the team, only a 74 overall. And he's a star. That is it. That all well, speaks volumes what this Reds team must be. But one more season to go. Let's see what he can do here. A potential winker. What's he going to end at? An 80. So a nice big jump here. Plus two to contact versus righties. Seven to lefties. Six for power versus righties. Five to lefties. Four to vision. Two to discipline. Three to clutch. Two to bunt. Two to durability. Two to his fielding and arm. And three to reaction. So actually, to know, minus one for his speed as well. So some very, very nice jumps in his contact and power. So that must mean... 158 games, 69 runs, 148 hits, 23 home runs, 77 RBIs, 15 stolen bases, and he is 266. So a very, very, very good fifth season for Winker. Unfortunately, he couldn't do that the other four seasons. So he's going to go up to a 78, still picking up a plus two bump. So as he's done with his potential test, I don't know about Jesse Winker. I expected him to progress much better than he did. Lefty, 26 years old. He's an A potential, but only going to end at an 80 overall. So I got to say, if you're the Reds, 
I might try and trade this guy because with the air potential, that gives a lot of power in the trade market. I would maybe trade him for some other prospects or an established veteran that could help this team. As you can see, as for the fact that Winker is an 80 and is the star, that's not a good sign. They only won 63 games, I think, in this season. They lost 99. So I would say, and then if you're not the Reds, probably steer clear of this guy. And obviously, you got to remember, this is just one season or one test of five seasons so it could go differently in your franchise but based on this i gotta say uh thumbs down on winker here as i don't think he is worth the risk that you would have to pay for an a potential guy like that so that is gonna be it for this one remember leave a comment down below of a player you want me to use in a future episode otherwise that's gonna be it for this one if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and give it a like i'd really appreciate it and subscribe to see any future videos that i make as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time